Hey everybody, this is Alex Goff from Goff Rugby Report. I'm with USA Women's Under-20 Head Coach Will Snape. We're here at an Atavis camp where we've been working with some young women, uh, club, college, and high school players. So first of all, Will, tell me a little bit about this camp and what you've been working with. Well, I, uh, it's been a two-day camp, a two-day training camp, USA Rugby um, Academy camp here. Um, we've had over 60 players here. The players that I've been working with, well, we, we had rotations of the players, but uh, you know, it's great for me as U20s coach to get to, to work with uh, some of the younger women in this area. So I was just uh, working with them on some of their attack work, um, just identification of space, bringing into some of the concepts that you know I think that the players need to uh, to kind of progress onto the national team level. But then it's also you know all of these skills are really applicable of all the all the levels so we're just looking to make some of these uh you know all these players as good as we can when you assemble your u20 team or when you're looking at at potential players what are some of the things that you'd like to see more of uh whether it's a skill level or an athlete type yeah i think that you know the fundamental and basic skills you know the catch pass the tackle um offloading that they're they're, they're, they're really important obviously they're, they're they're fundamentals but for for what we want for players to go to that next level you know for me is an excitement to attack to really you know have a vision a game understanding and game awareness i think like vision game understanding game awareness are like under trained skills so we can put that them in that environment here we're asking them to look at what they're attacking asking them why are you attacking this how can we be effective attacking this right rather than just the basic skills adding into that the decision making aspects just so important Good. as we get the airplane going over us because we're close to the airport here uh, I, I think it might be fair to say perhaps 10 years ago uh, if you were comparing uh, senior high level high school players with uh, freshman college players in the women's game the high school players probably would come in a little bit better a little bit more skilled I don't know if that's the case now and I, I, I was wondering what what you're seeing in terms of college players versus high school players even uh, around the same age 18 19 years old um, whether there's you know one's better than the other I think that the overall standard up been with the junior American program for four years now so I would say that what I've seen coming through is a real strength and improvement in skills from the high school players you know really looking to push that and and the college game in, in the whole has got a lot better there used to be isolated programs like Penn State um, that were just you know dominating the, the, the game um, Whereas now we're seeing more competitive programs, and I think that really is down to the growth of the high school quality. You know, I think that the the resources available to high school players, some of the things the USA Rugby Academy are doing, um, and Atavus getting there, the high school All Americans, this is aspirational pathways for the players that we're just seeing a, a higher level from a younger player. What can players do on their own to to get themselves to that level? I mean, on their own. I mean, there's plenty of. Um, skill work they can do it's very hard on your own yeah. so when you say on your own as an individual then we're talking s and c basic skill work with with one or two other people um i think you know really if you if you have aspirations to play at a higher level you have to make sure you're working with um people at your clubs um go and train with the college teams go and train with your local women's team whatever you can do to just be playing more rugby that doesn't have to be contact but you just need to be playing rugby as much as possible have a rugby ball in your hand as much as possible you know and just really you know get those basics down good uh, u20 team what's the plan for 2017 we have a Can-Am series, so that's uh, the real build-up. We have three assemblies um, this year and then building up to that, that Can-Am series. We just had a camp down in Florida. Um, so we, we're, it's, uh, it's nice to go into a Can-Am's knowing that the, we beat the Canadians the last time. But, um, you know, so that's really our focus this year is to, uh, to, get, to get the team ready for the Canadians and then push as many players as we can through to the seniors. That's really what I'm judged on is, you know, how I get these players ready to, to go on and play full international rugby. So the, all the camps that we do this year is just to, with that focus in mind. But we do have a Can-Ams as well. Excellent. Will, thank you very much. Appreciate oh, it. Pleasure, pleasure. Thanks.